Hey everybody, this is Chris with Out West with Chris, and I'm going to make some coffee over the campfire, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, when you're camping, coffee is just such a nice luxury to have, and um, there's no reason why you shouldn't have it when you're out camping. So I use a percolator, and the first thing you need when you're using a percolator to make coffee is fire. Now that we've got our fire going, we should get our coffee ready. Um, one thing that you want to do when using a percolator is you want to make sure that you get coarse um, grounds. So, you know, go to the store, buy your coffee um, in the whole bean, and then usually most stores will have a spot where you can grind it, and you want it coarse. Um, if you don't have it coarse, if it's really fine, then it'll fall through the holes of the percolator and you'll be drinking grinds too. Inevitably, a few grinds, even when you grind a course, a few grinds will fall through. Okay, so this is my percolator. It's simple, but it gets the job done. This is the hopper where you put your grinds. You see the holes. So what happens with the percolator is the water gets hot and boils, and it boils from the bottom. It goes up this tube, and then it falls down over the coffee grinds. The hot water then um, soaks through the coffee grinds and goes back into the cool or back into the water until eventually it does it enough that you have coffee. So after you got that handled, take some nice clean water. And fill up as much as you want. You do want to leave room between the water and the bottom of the hopper. as easy as that. One, one tip though when you're done is you, you never really want to um, wash a percolator with soap. So you just want to rinse it with hot water. Okay. Um, if you want to you know rinse it really well when you get home that's good. Wash it with soap. You run the chance of getting a soapy taste um, to your coffee the next time. You know your percolator is doing the job when you start to see the water percolating out of the top. The more and more water that percolates out the top, the darker it starts to get, and the closer you are to having a nice cup of coffee. So the, the coffee is now getting to be about the desired uh, darkness that I like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out using extreme care because that thing is really hot. So I always make sure I have a hot pad and some other stuff to grip and grab um, the, the pot.
So this, folks, is a nice cup of hot coffee. I'm going to add some stuff to it. Um, the percolator I use is a Coleman 9 cup um, aluminum percolator. Thing costs $10. So I have no problem putting it into um, the fire. It's not a big deal. If it gets a little dirty, gets a little burnt, I'm not that heartbroken. Thanks for watching today, folks. I'm going to put a link to my website, outwestwithchris.com. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe. There's more stuff on the way. And uh, thanks. It was nice uh, making some coffee with you.